Exercise 12, working with nominative subject and genitive possessive. So these are your cases we're working with in Henley, and your first and your second declension. First declension feminine, second masculine. These are all singular, these are plural, singular, plural. For this exercise, we are only looking at two cases, nominative, singular or plural, and genitive, singular or plural. Okay, number one, glory a, that's your subject, nominative, glory a, and de. So that's your genitive. You can use this one, it's the same one, but so you don't get confused, just use the one under the genitive. So, Gloria Dei translates into glory of God. Number two. Number two is amicus sed we. Amicus sed we. So, your subject is friend. Amicus. Amicus. It's going to be singular. And your genitive is going to be servant. And your servant has the I ending, which is that one we just pulled. So amicus said we translates into friend or of servant or the friend of the servant. Number three, same subject, amicus and same ending, they, which is God. So that translates into friend of God, right? Or the friend of God, if you're looking at the one God or the friend of the God, which is like a lowercase God, like the Roman gods or the Greek gods, okay? Us goes back, he goes back. So number four, Victoria Dei. Victoria Dei. Your subject, you can tell if it ends in a, i, us, e. You can tell that that will be in your nominative. How do you know if it's not genitive? Well. Only one of them can be genitive and one can be nominative in this exercise. So, victoria, that's your singular nominative. And they, they, that's going to be your singular genitive. That translates into victory of God or God's victory, okay? Number six, I'm sorry, number five, Gloria Christi. Gloria Christi. So that's your plural ending, I. That's your singular, singular nominative, Gloria. Singular genitive, or Christi. Christi, and your translation becomes glory of Christ, or Christ's glory. Number six, same subject, Gloria, so that's singular, Gloria, and Mari I, Mari I, let's put that back, Mari I, now we're looking at we know it's genitive. It's a first declension noun. And that's singular. Mary's glory, or the glory of Mary. Okay. So number seven. Number seven is Victoria Christian. I'm sorry, 
Victoria Christianorum. Victoria Christianorum. And so your subject is going to be Victoria. Right away, we know that that's first declension. We know singular is victory or the victory. Now, genitive, Christianorum. So that's the Christian. And orum is genitive plural. So the Christians, plural, victory, or the victory of the Christians. Okay. Number eight. Number eight is Servus Dei. Servus Dei. So your subject, you have that us ending. It's going to be nominative singular second declension. And now your genitive, they, is God. And how do you know if it's this one or this one? Well, you've already used your nominative. Your genitive is right here. And it's singular, right? Said wus, they, translates into servant of God or the servant of God. Or if you're talking about Roman gods or Greek gods, the servant of the God. Okay. So we put this back. So us. And number nine. Amicus Christi. Amicus Christi. I like this one. Your friend is singular. Amicus. Now your genitive, Christi. So Christ, we know we've already used our nominative, so we're going to stick that one there. Amicus Christi translates into the friend of Christ or Christ's friend. Okay, so we'll put those back and then we only have one left. Filius Dei. Filius Dei. Well, you have your singular, us, and that means son. We know it's singular. That's our nominative. Here's our nominative. Filius, and now Dei. So that's our genitive. And who are we talking about? God. The son of God. Or if this is like Roman Greek gods, right? Then it's the son of the God. 